Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to get another gameplay. I'm your host, That Dragon Guy, and today we are playing Game Dev Tycoon. The only difference is we're not playing it the way we were playing it when I played it a while back. We uh, have downloaded some mods, and I'm playing around with the mods today. Now, with Game Dev Tycoon, you can get a mod that's called the Cheat Mod, and I'll show you what it is real quick. Alright, so as you can see, I can add money if I want to, I can add fans if I want to, hype for when I make a game, research points, which are really helpful. Uh, and I use this to also move to the final level, so we're like in the very beginning at the final level. Uh, we can deactivate, uh, or we can activate no bugs and all of that. And I've also leveled up all the copyright protection and all that stuff right there. So, now we are able to go to our hardware lab click here and develop a console my favorite one to use is the black console we're gonna type in the dragoon damn it there we go now it replaced it quality assurance budget is gonna be maxed out because we're pretty rich we might as well use it right <laughs> next All right, now when it comes to making consoles, it's best just to pick the best graphics, right? So we're going to use 3D graphics version 5. We're going to make it to work and also take 2D graphics version 5. We're going to add all of that into the console. Oh, online play and multiplayer is not allowed at the same time for some reason, which is dumb in my opinion, but whatever. So we added all of that right there. So let's start the development, I guess. That, that seems to be everything. So, yeah, start the development. Cool. Let's go over here to the R&D lab. And we're going to start a project. We are going to start... Uh, we're going to try to create 3D graphics version 7. We're going to skip 6 just because we can. And now... We need to go over to my people, and as soon as these things stop popping up here, uh, no, stop it. Alright, so we're going to develop a new game. We're going to make it large, and we're going to develop a weird topic. I didn't mean to click that. We're going to develop a... Hmm... Romance, it's not a weird topic, never mind. Romance, no. Mm, action, how about romance action? That's a weird topic, I guess. We're going to put on the Tez, which we all know what that really means. And we're going to name this Fight for Love. There we go. So let's hit next and create it. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Um It won't let me use the uh 3D graphics for some reason. Hold on, let me check my research here. Let's research the target audience. I think I have to Oh, I know what I gotta do. I have to uh create my own custom engine first. That's why I can't use any of this. Duh. So let's go ahead and create the best custom engine that you could possibly ever create by including every single one of these. It'll be expensive as hell, and it'll take a minute to create, but it'll be okay. This is going to be the best console on the market. More advanced than anything that'll ever come out. <laughs> uh, so... As soon as we're done clicking through all these, we can create the engine. We are going to call this... Uh, I don't know what the hell we're going to call it. We'll figure it out in a minute. We might just keep it game engine number one, just because I don't feel like naming the damn thing. Who knows? We got all these different settings, as you can see. And everything is checked. We're just going to leave it at Game Engine 1 just because I don't feel like coming up with a name. Anyway, they're researching it, uh, making it, creating it, whatever. 
platform news. We seem to have a little bit of lag. I hope it's not lagging while it's recording. It'd be very unfortunate. But if it is lagging in the recording, I apologize. My computer hates me as I have stated before while playing The Sims 4. Anyway, the custom game engine is a third of the way done. Yep, more platform news. I don't really need to... Hang on, can I turn off all those stupid things that are popping up? Settings. Uh, disable tutorials. Maybe that'll do it? I don't know. Here we go. We need all of them to be in a queue. I don't want them to pop up the way they, you know, the way they were. So there we go. Cool. Now everything should stop popping up, and I should stop having to deal with that. Thank God. Anyway, it looks like the engine is almost halfway done. Our console is almost done too, so that's pretty good. We're gonna go into cheat mode while they're finishing that, and we're just gonna add a bunch of money. Why? Because we can, and I'm afraid the console and the engine will end up making me go broke, but I doubt it will because I already clicked that money thing quite a bit before I started recording. Like I said, we were just messing around trying to create some weird game or some shit. Yep, yep, cool. Um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to do something or not. Who knows? <laughs> so the engine's almost done. The console's almost done. We have platform no, no, uh, that news over in the corner. I was about to say noise. Why was I going to say noise? Because they never shut up. That's why it's noise. I don't know. Anyway, both of them might finish at the same time. Yeah, engine complete. What about the console? We need the console to be complete. Alright, it's almost done, I guess. And it's done. Cool, so we can now make games for my new console. So, let's go back over here. Let's develop a new game. We're going to make it large. We're going to... Use... Hmm, Let's use the game I was trying to make a few minutes ago. So romance and action. We're going to pick my game console. We're going to pick my game engine number one. And we're going to name it Fight for Love, just like we did a minute ago. So let's hit next. There we go. We're going to give it version 5 3D graphics. And that's about it. Start development. So they're creating the game. My console is selling, though. We've already sold 2.3 million. That's pretty good. So let's max this one out. Let's pull this one down to 50. I mean, 75, not 50. I didn't mean to pull it down to 50. But uh, we're going to do that. And then we're going to scroll over here. And we need to make sure it can save games. We want advanced, no, full motion video, interactive story, moral choices, uh, reactive quest, immersive storytelling. Um, uh, branching story? No, no, immersive storytelling. All right, so we don't really need multiplayer for this. Video playback, we don't need that. We want advanced physics, not basic physics. Mod support would be great because that's how I have mods for this game. So we need better user experience, character progression, game tutorials, skill cree uh, trees, and we don't need cooperative play. So we're going to continue. We're doing pretty good so far. All the bubbles are flying everywhere, as you can see. We can make them go faster by clicking these uh, little lightning bolt things. If this doesn't pop up in the way. Alright, so we need 
voiceover, advanced dialogue, I mean body language, celebrity voice acting would be better, uh, realistic uh, body language would be better too, what about better dialogue tree, yeah, okay, cool, next, we're definitely going to want some easter eggs, um, some mini games, no loading screens, because that would be amazing, dynamic environment, that'd be pretty cool too, we might as well have a level of an editor, uh, better AI, self-learning AI, and AI companions. Because if it's a romance, you're going to want a companion that you can romance, right? Anyway, hit OK. And now we got to wait for the next level of creating this game. Let's go over here and see what we can do with our R&D R &D department. Let's see. Uh, the best thing we can do is look up Internet Opportunities. So we can make online multiplayer games. Uh, let's go back over here. Uh, my game locked up. Oh no, it's just froze because I had the thing open over here. See, whenever you... I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, we'll bring this up to 75. Oh, that's 76, so 75. Bring this down to 50. We need that one. We need orchestra stone track, surround sound. Yeah, okay. Open world, day and night circle, virtual economy, realistic weather, diamond, dynamic world, and rich backstory. You see these percentages things here? It does affect how your game actually, you know, comes out, but I don't really care about that right now. Anyway, let's continue. The game is almost done. Uh, that guy has a knack for something. Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. Cool. That's awesome. So the game is almost done. And I thought I activated no bugs, but bugs keep popping up over here. I don't know. <laughs> the game is pretty much finished. We're just doing the final touches. There's a lot of final touches happening. Alright. Someone... There we go. We're going to publish that. Cool, cool, cool. We don't have any levels that we need to raise. So let's release the game. Alright. Let's see what the reviews are. We got a 10. We got a 10. We got a 9. Oh, that guy is an asshole. And we got another 10. That That's pretty good. Three tens and a 9. That's not too bad. There's AAA games research available over there. We got this. Yeah, I wish these would stack on top of each other instead of going up the screen. Oh, God. It's an endless supply of little notifications. Fight for Love selling pretty good. We're going to end it once Fight for Love's being uh, in the video, once Fight for Love comes off the market. Jesus Christ, there's so many notifications coming up. Well, let's generate a game report for Fight for Love. Cool. Let's go over to our R&D department and see what project we can start next. Let's see, we got MMO and AAA games. We might as well look up or research MMO. I like the computers over here. Those look pretty damn cool. Hmm. Anyway, let's go back over here. I wish my computer looked like that. I bet you if my computer was like that, it would work a lot better. Like I said, I am really, really hoping that this uh, video is not lagging. It's not lagging for me. Hopefully it's not lagging as it records. Because sometimes the recording messes up worse than the game does when I'm playing. It's totally messed up. Anyway, Fight for Love is almost off the market. It's rank 4 right now. But uh, it looks like it's going to stop actually selling. Yep, there we go. It's off the market. It's finished being sold. And me having the cheat mode thing up right there in the research and the training makes it to where the game's paused. Anyway, 
uh, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed watching me uh, use some mods to mess around with one of my favorite games, then please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell because I post every single day, and you surely want to be notified. All that being said, I have been your host, That Dragon Guy, and I will see you tomorrow.